Nicole and I like to do fashion DIYs. In today's video, I'm going to attempt to make this denim tie-up skirt. I had saved some inspo on my Pinterest page ages ago and while I was scrolling through to figure out what I wanted to create for this video, I stumbled across this inspiration and I'm going to try to replicate it. I actually have all of the things I need for it. I have the grommets, I have the ribbon, I have a zipper to use, and I also will be using this denim dress that I thrifted. Um, honestly, this is like a not a cute denim dress by any means, but anytime I stumble across this type of denim-like fabric at the thrift store, especially for a reasonable price, I believe this dress was $6.50. Um, I can't pass it up because I am just a sucker for denim. So I am going to be making a skirt. Let's see how this goes. So this is the dress. It's clearly nothing special and I did film it on figure, but I got a new camera recently and I've been messing with the settings. So that's why I'm just a blur. So to ensure that this skirt is going to be the right shape and fit that I'm looking for, I am going to be using this skirt I already own. This is just a little mini skirt from Aritzia that I am going to be using as a pattern template. This is a non-stretch fabric, so they are actually like fabrics, so I won't have to account for that when I am drafting the pattern. To draw out my skirt pattern, I started by folding my skirt in half and tracing it out. This is going to be the back of my skirt. I also added a half inch seam allowance to either side before cutting it out. To draw out the front of my skirt, I traced out the back pattern piece on the fold of my pattern paper, so when I unfolded it, it was the full piece. I also wanted to add a waistband, so I'm subtracting it from my skirt pattern, and then I will redraw the waistband afterwards. I'm also going to split my skirt where I wanted the slit and added a 1 inch seam allowance to the cut side. These will be the three pieces that make up the front of my skirt. So in total I will have a skirt front A, a skirt front B, and a skirt back that I will cut two of and a waistband that I will cut out on the fold plus two not on the fold, totaling three pieces. Now it's time to cut out my pattern pieces. I'm going to be using the existing hemline of the dress for my skirt, and I've accounted for this while drafting my pattern. But first I need to trim down the dress and separate the front from the back before pinning and cutting out my pieces. Okay, so now that all my pieces are cut out, I am just going to run my serger along all of the raw edges. Um, this isn't absolutely necessary. You can always just do a zigzag stitch on your sewing machine, but with a material like denim, it's probably going to fray over time. I am going to run it through my serger. I originally thought I had to start with the zipper, but after looking at it, I think I need to start with the waistband. That's not it. <laughs> So I have three pieces for my waistband and I'm going to start by sewing the two small pieces to the big piece right sides together. I sewed the back sides to the two front side pieces. So right now I have two pieces making up the body and a waistband. Before I can sew it all together, I have to create my hemline on the slit. I also need the double layers of fabric to ensure the grommets I'm installing later will be secure. So I am applying a one inch hem to both sides of the front of my skirt and to secure the hem, I'm going to top stitch with the yellow denim thread. And I did that to both sides. Now it's time to attach the skirt to the waistband. With right sides together, I matched up my side seams and pinned before sewing. To finish the waistband, I folded it over below the original seam line and secured it with the pin. Then I did a stitch in the ditch, which really wasn't necessary because I later decided on doing a top stitch in the yellow denim thread. And I really like how it turned out. Once that was done, it was time to move on to the zipper. So since I am just using whatever I have on hand, I opted for this red zipper, but I probably would have chosen red anyways since that is the color I wanted to use for the tie. To insert the zipper, I started with pinning right sides together of my center back. Then I measured out how far down my zipper needed to go. 
I'm going to be sewing a basting stitch to that point, and then from there on, I'm going to sew a regular length stitch. Then I pressed open the seam before pinning the zipper right side down to the skirt. I sewed around the zipper using my yellow thread as a top stitch. Obviously, I love the contrast between red, yellow, and blue. Now I am moving on to the final step, which is to attach the grommets. For this, I needed this little grommet kit I picked up at a local sewing supply shop and a hammer. But first, I needed to measure it out. To secure the grommet, I used my scissors to cut a small hole in my fabric. Then I took the longer side of the grommet and pushed that through the right side of the fabric. Securing the back end with the little plastic piece, followed by the thin metal backing ridge side up. I then used these little tool pieces that come in the grommet kit to hammer it in place. This is when I had to call it a night because I didn't think it was socially acceptable to use a hammer at 1am in an apartment building. So I had to complete the grommet insertion another day. And to be honest, I really should have called it quits before the early hours of the morning because my measuring skills clearly failed me and it did not occur to me to remeasure as I went. So the result was a little crooked, but oh well. The final step was to loop the ribbon through the grommets so I could finally do a fit test. To my surprise, the fit around the waist was pretty good, but I did not take into consideration that the slit was very high up and revealing until now. So my solution was to just hand stitch the gap closed at the top and I sewed about seven inches down. If I were to redo the skirt over, I would have figured out a way to sew this seam closed during the construction process so the hand stitch wouldn't be necessary, but it did save the day. But aside from that, this is how the skirt turned out and I kind of love it. I definitely liked it a lot more once I had put it on and styled it. And that's it for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comments below and I will be sure to catch you in the next one. Bye!